Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing today? Hello. We are talking how to create a complete client experience in your beauty business. Yes, a complete client experience and I'm not just talking just a regular old yes the doors of the business are open yes stylists are coming I mean um clients are coming in no we want to create a complete client experience this way you are able to build a better clientele a bigger clientele you are able to get the clients that you want in the door because you need to first understand this client experience and how you're going to provide this what the client should expect when they walk into your business some of the things that they plan on gaining while they are visiting your business and the experience that they should have when they leave your business. We're going to discuss all of this um, on how to create a complete client experience in your beauty business. But first, before we get into that, let's go ahead on and hit the share button. Tap and share that out. Um, two things, right? First thing first to share this out. And the reason why I ask you to share, because as a fellow beauty professional of you, my, myself, we're fellow beauty professionals, we all are trying to grow our business. And if one of us knows something, I believe in sharing it for the other business. We are not in competition with each other because we all provide a different service. We all provide a different establishment. We all have a different brand. There's plenty of clients to go around. That's the reason why I ask you to share this out because we all have to grow this business together. We all are responsible for making the beauty industry the great industry that it is together. We all responsible growing this business collectively. So first thing first, I ask you go ahead on and hit that share button and share this out. Second thing I ask of you is to go ahead on and tap that screen. If you can hear me clearly, if you can hear me clearly, because I want to make sure that the uh, information that I give you, that you can actually receive it, that you can actually hear this. Cause you know, sometimes social media has its little glitches and things that it do. So hit that screen and give me the thumbs up or give me some hearts and let me know that you can hear me clearly. So on that note, let me, while you are sharing this out, hit the little button real fast. Give me the hearts. Give me the thumbs up. Let me know that you can hear me. Let me share a little bit about who I am before we jump into on how to create a complete client experience in your beauty business first things first i am alicia monique salon stylist coach product development consultant and salon business builder expert i partner with salons and salon suite stylists to help you establish yourself in your business to understand where you are in your business and give you the tools and strategies that you need to implement to successfully grow a six-figure beauty business my primary objective when we work together is to first understand where you are in your business, understand what your your vision is, understand what your goals are, understand where you want your business to be at. Ultimately, from there to give you the tools and steps that you need, maybe we need to rearrange some of your systems and get your systems working in order in order to build a clientele first. Maybe we need to rearrange some things in order to hire a great team. And in working with me, I do just that. Let's adjust these things so that they work function properly for you so that as you are coming from behind the chair later on down the line years to come you decide you want to walk away well your salon has to run for you as a stylist these things need to be established so that when you step away your team and business continue to grow that's my primary objective when I work with you is to give you the tools and strategies that you need to grow your team and business with strategic results now, today we are talking how to create a complete client experience in your beauty business. We're going to start with, first of all, what is a client experience? What is that? Let's understand what that is. So in order to grow your clientele, your clients have to experience steps when they come inside of your business. There, there, there's, a, there's a, a routine that you have set. Now, you may not even know what the client experience is because you we, we do it subconsciously. This is just something that we do in order to run the business. So these are the steps that your client experience 
while they are visiting your business. Now, this is important because you want clients to come back. You want clients to refer you other clients and you want your clients to become loyal clients of your business. I'm going to say that again. You want your clients to come back to you. You want them to refer people to you and you want them to become loyal to your business. Notice how everything is coming towards you. But this client experience is what allows your client to do all of these things. So here are some steps in this client experience. I want you to visualize this with me. Go through the steps with me and visualize this client experience, right? First thing, that customer walks into, they, they open the handle on the door. It's either a push or a pull. How are they going to get into the business? Is it double gate, fences, whatever. When they first step into your business, they are on your business property. They are on that floor of your business, the floors that you've laid down, whether you have laid down carpet, whether you have laid down ceramic tile, porcelain, or whatever you laid down, they step into there. What is the first thing that they experience the minute the door open and the bells chime, ring, a ding go off? What is it? It's a greeting. That's the first step in that client experience. They get a greeting when they come into your business. Now, the next thing to consider in your client experience is the client's wait time. How long is this wait time? First of all, when they get greeted, it shouldn't be a wait time to get greeted. The next thing is what's the wait time to get into the actual styling chair, right? When they need to get into your in, get into your chair, what's that wait time from their greeting and they're having a seat in the waiting area to the time they hit that styling chair to that time you say, Hey, Miss Mary, come on back. I'm ready for you. How long is that? How long is that time frame? This is something that you need to know during this client experience. It can be something as simple as my clients come in within the first 10 seconds of business from them walking in the door within the first five seconds of them walking in the door, they get greeted. They wait no longer than five minutes to begin their service. And when they're in this waiting area, what is it that they experiencing in this waiting area? Is there a refreshment area? Is there a water with a water cooler and cups? Is there a coffee? Is there a Wi-Fi in this area? Is there a station set up? Maybe they need to charge their computer or something. What is this waiting area experience for them look like? Now, mind you, these are things that you have to consider when clients are coming into your business, the client experience. While they're sitting there, what are they doing? Are they just reading some old magazines? Because you know you may have some old, outdated magazines, and yes, they still may be relevant. However, they've seen those magazines several times over and over and over again. Is it time for to, to toss those and get some new ones in there? So what is this waiting area experience like while they're sitting there waiting? How long is the wait time that they sit there before they get to the stylist chair? The next step is the stylist experience. So what is the stylist? What are, what are they experiencing while they're in the styling chair? Are they being given a proper consultation? Is the next step going to the shampoo bowl or maybe giving them a price quote or doing completing the actual service in a in a timely manner? How long is it taking them to actually get this service from start to finish inside of the stylist chair? And then the next step is the checkout process. So what is the checkout process like for them uh, ending their client experience? What does that checkout process look like for them? Now, I hope this information, I hope this info, I hope you're getting it. I hope you're getting it. Hit that screen. Give me the thumbs up and let me know if you're getting it. You like, I got it. I got it. I got it. I, I, I'm, I'm with you. I'm following. I, I'm digesting this information. This, this is making sense. And I'm, I really need to look at my complete client experience the next time a client walk through the salon. Now, the best way for you to, to fully understand this is to, to come into your own business and, and physically walk through these steps yourself. When you open a door, what's the first thing that should happen when you work through the door? 
you can do this the next morning when you come into your business. When you open your business, come in a little bit earlier and say, okay, I'm going to walk through myself a physical client experience so I understand the client's journey while they're here at my salon. When you walk in that door, what's the greeting? What should the greeting be? What should the greeting be? What should someone say? It doesn't matter who says it. If you have a receptionist, if you have an open floor plan of all stylists, what are these stylists saying? What is somebody saying? I don't care if everybody's saying it all at the same time. What is it? It could be a a, a, a a whole choir start to sing or something like that when the client walk in because everybody's saying the same thing at the same time. So the client is like, whoa, that was awesome. So what does that sound like to you? Walk through this experience yourself. So when you begin to understand completely how to create a complete client experience in your salon, it starts with understanding the steps that the client will experience while they are visiting, while they are visiting your business. What are the steps that the client will experience while they are visiting your uh, business? And this is important because you want clients to come back. You want clients to refer you other clients and you want your clients to become loyal clients. Perfect example of this. You know, when you go to the doctor's office, the, the first thing that happens when you walk in the door is the reception desk right there and you get a greeting. Hi, how are you? How can I help you? You walk up to the desk and you say, you know, I have an appointment at, you know, four o'clock with Dr. XYZ. They say, okay, wonderful. Just sign in for me. And you sign in on the table and they'll say, have a seat. Someone will be right with you. You have a seat in the waiting area. You look around. There's a television to watch. There may be some new magazines. You see a sign on a wall that says uh, Wi-Fi code, you know, put in one, two, three doctor's office for free Wi-Fi code. So you're like, oh, okay, Wi-Fi code. But before you can even connect to the Wi-Fi, they're calling you back to the desk. They're asking you, um, to verify your information, so your driver's license, so your insurance cards, telling you about copays that you may have, you know, letting you know um, whatever it is that you need to know about your 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 records and stuff like that. And they tell you to have a seat, and someone be out to to get you soon. And you sit back down, and you you finish connecting your Wi-Fi password. You may watch whatever's on the television. You go through your social media on your phone. You know, you do a little scroll real fast. You pick up a magazine because you're like, oh, that's a, D uh, that's a new magazine. Oh, there's such and such on the cover. Maybe a celebrity that you're interested in. You pick up that magazine. You start flipping through that magazine. You wait a little bit. And next, you know, the nurse is calling you back. And the nurse is going through, you know, checking your vitals and things like that. Once your vitals are checked, she puts you in a room and tell you that the doctor is going to be right with you. And the doctor come in and he do his little steps. Everything that I'm explaining to you right now, whenever you go to the doctor's office, the, 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 the dental office, this is a client experience. These are things that already set up for you when you walk into the business. This is the exact same thing that you have to understand and have set up for your clients coming into your salon experience for you to understand what that client experience look like, because being a patient in a doctor's office, you have an appointment. They know what your experience is like. They know the first thing that's supposed to happen when you come into the door. They know the journey that you're going to experience while you're there. And this is important for you to understand this as well for your clients because this keeps you coming back. Now, you know, when you're in a doctor's office and you realize that you're, you're sitting down for maybe five minutes and they call you back to the desk and you sit down again for maybe 15, 20 minutes and they call you back to the back and you're in a doctor's office for maybe about another 15, 25 minutes. And then the doctor comes in to see you and then you go out and you leave, you check at the desk before you leave. Remember, this is your checkout process. Before you leave, you may book your new appointment. You may get prescriptions you have to pick up. You may, um, uh, uh, give a, a, a credit card if you have to pay a co-payment or something like that. So this is their checkout process. And then you leave. And the reason why you continuously visit this dental or this doctor office is because of the experience that you get when you go. 
This is the exact same experience that you want your clients to go through when they're booking appointments for you. You want that exact continue. You want that same consistency when you come in. You want those friendly greetings. You want that timely service. You want to know that when you're there at the doctor's office, you're being cared for. You want your clients to know that when they're in your salon, they're being cared for. So the same experience is if you was to go and visit a doctor's office is what your client should experience when they're visiting your salon. This is why creating a complete client experience is so important because it's going to have them refer clients. You can think right now, if someone was to ask you, I'm looking for a dental office or I'm looking for a doctor's office. Do you, do you have any you recommend? You like, yes, I do go over here to Dr. Sutton. So it's very great because you've experienced that. That's the same experience that you want for your client. You want to understand their journey so that they can, they can become loyal clients. You are loyal clients of places that you visit because you've had a great experience and you have to create that same loyal, that same client experience for your client. So the better the client experience, the more likely they will become loyal clients of your business. I'm going to say that one more time. The better the client experience, the more likely they will become loyal clients of your salon over time. So be sure to understand the complete client experience when someone comes to visit your salon. And in knowing that you'll be able to retain clients, you'll be able to initiate your loyalty programs, you'll be able to, to enforce your referral programs and have great success with this because you know what the client is exposed is supposed to experience. And a client knows what she's going to experience each and every time. And without a doubt, she would not have any any problems in referring your salon because the experience is there. She's going to rave about you. So the better the client experience, the more likely they will become loyal clients of your salon business. These are the tips that I have for you. So go out at ha go out now, right now, go out now and think about how to create a complete client experience for your salon. If you have one in set, look at it. If you already have one in place, you like already got that. I want you to look at it and see how can you improve upon this client experience. This is going to help you to continuously grow your clientele. Look at it. Walk through it yourself. Go in the salon one morning, early in the morning before any clients get there and walk through this experience yourself to make sure that there's no kinks. You may need to make some adjustments. You may need to, uh, uh, change some greetings or whatever it is that you need to do, but experience it for yourself so that you know exactly what your clients are ex or are experiencing. So this is how to create a complete client experience in your salon business. Until next time, you know the deal. I talk to you soon.